is not recess. We are here to learn. The beginning of the school year is the perfect time to set up your structure and routines. This is the time that you are planning to provide as much freedom as possible within boundaries. Whenever I'm doing a paint pour, I spend a lot of time, sometimes hours, to make sure that I'm matching the colors that I am trying to use to communicate the idea of the waves and the water and the sand. And I'll mix up turquoise and I'll mix up the sand color, which is actually quite difficult to do because sand is always changing in color even though we have those beautiful white sands down on the gulf. And sometimes after a few hours of mixing, I will have, I would say between a dozen and 20 and 25 colors to use in that paint pour. I don't know if you've ever done this, but it's a really fun way to create a painting and the results are completely unpredictable. You never know what you're gonna wind up with. And it's fine because you can just re let the canvas dry or scrape off the wet paint and reuse the canvas. Once you've done it a few times, it becomes more predictable and eventually I was able to make this large painting. It was a four foot square painting that I mixed up extra paint for and was able to create this illusion of moving water, almost as if you're looking up at the water. So I set up my parameters, did the pour and then let it go. I didn't completely let it go. I'm still manipulating it. I'm still picking up the frame and letting gravity move that paint. Sometimes I'll even get my hands in there and, and swoosh my fingers through the paint to give it a little extra sense of movement. But the system that I'm setting up is independent of me in a way. I'm just watching it to see what happens. And classroom management is a lot like that. You have to figure out what works best for your students and then step back and observe is this system going to work and give it some time any kind of management system that you set up does take a little bit of time to get the sense of well are my students responding to this or not so it's very unique to the teacher and I don't want anybody to watch these videos and think this is some kind of a formula that I have to follow, A, a B, and C. If I do this, this, and this, then my students will behave. It doesn't work that way. There are certain truths that work in every situation with every teacher, no matter what developmental level you're dealing with, elementary, middle, high school. But then sometimes you have to tweak this system for your kids. What works with elementary kids is not going to work for middle schoolers and what works for middle schoolers is not going to work for high school. You do what's best for your kids. Nobody can tell you exactly what that is. You have to go with your gut. You know your kids better than anybody else.